Hey guys, Shapey Play Sheep here. I'm gonna tell you how to install um source mod in uh Team Fortress 2 as there was previously a bug that didn't allow you to install source mod on the 64-bit version, but today it was fixed. I'm gonna tell you how to fix it now. So as soon as I have source mod downloaded, extract it, and then go to Steam. Go to TF2 and then bro browse local files. And with me, I already had source mod and this recent version installed. But you go to the TF folder, and then usually the folder would have add ons and CFG. Drag both of these folders to the TF folder, and if it asks you to replace any folder or any files, click replace. And after that, we don't close the folder, the, the Team Fortress 2 folder, because we need another step to do. As we go to the Team Fortress 2 single player, if you're using Powerful, but if you're not, um, you can use the TF. Uh, if you're not using the single player shortcut, you can just launch TF underscore Win64.exe without any changes, just so you can't use your Steam shortcut. Oh, well, actually, you can. That's if you want to do 64-bit. This is automatically launching 64-bit. And if you want 32-bit, then you have to launch TF.exe manually. But, but, um, so if you're using Battle of the Hole, change it from TF.exe or HL2.exe, depending on which one you have to. TF must go 164.exe, and then click Apply, Close, Close all these, and then your game should run. Um, the TF2 should run with source mod installed without any problems. I hope this tutorial helped me, and if, I hope this tutorial helped you. And if you felt like it helped you, and you want to show me support, consider subscribing because it can help me out, and it shows that there has been people that. Um, have this situation fixed, and um, they can run TF2 with source mod, which can make me bring a smile, and hopefully also bring you a smile to your day that you got TF2 fixed, so you can finally run mods. But again, hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe if it helps, and bye.